we've actually done all this work so that we can do financial statements. That's the whole point of what we've been working through. I've got over here the uh, just the worksheet that we had before, just to prove to you. I copied that over then to a another worksheet just so I had it all in the same place. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this over. So once you've got your adjusted trial balance and you know everything's right, I'm just going to go ahead and close that. Then you do your financials. Our income statements you have to start with first. So that's going to start kind of down a little bit here. So you just pull the numbers, remember your cost of goods sold, and then any place where you see the word expense, this payable, that doesn't go there, but this expense and this expense for that payable doesn't go there. Those are liabilities. So just you list your revenue, then you list the individual expenses. You don't just have the word expense because we care how much cost of goods sold is compared to what your utilities are. Um, and depreciation you really care about. And here I put both the depreciations together because again, that isn't a cash expense. We'll learn depreciation is kind of its own animal. So we ended up with net income. Change that. So we end up with net income of $14.23. Then you want to do your balance sheet. And when our, we do our balance sheet, we start with the first assets always cash. And then you want the things that will turn into cash a little bit quicker up front and the things that aren't really cash like later. So we call those again um, any of the assets that will kind of come. Um, to pass either we'll get get cash or we've already spent the cash we call those current assets so um so we want to we want to list our current assets first and i miraculously had them listed first to start with and then you total your current assets then we do the long-term stuff All right. and when we talked about having those contra assets this is where you see it you take your building, less your accumulated depreciation to get your net. And there we do separate out each asset. We don't kind of lump them together too much. At least we want buildings and equipment, things with different um, lives should be, should be separate. So our equipment's next, our accumulated depreciation gives us net. We total those up long-term, total assets. Then we pray that the rest of the entries come out okay. Do the same thing. Current liabilities always start with accounts payable. And then the longer the item is to become due, the um, further down the balance sheet it comes. So we do accounts payable first. Um, then I put interest and then salaries and there's no magic to those. You can put them in either order to get your current liabilities. But then I do my long term. So loans, notes, those are usually longer. So that's my 34.3 from here. So that's my total liabilities. Then you have your stockholders equity and that's gonna be your common stock, retained earnings and dividends if you have any. We didn't have any dividends. So, um, so we just have common stock here. Uh, we have retained earnings and I don't have to do a little formula because my, my beginning retained earnings was zero. So zero, and there's no dividend, so there's nothing to subtract. So 1423 plus zero minus zero is 1423. So that goes there. And then um, that's miraculously balances to our total assets. All right. And, uh, and so that's our financial statements. There's only one more little bitty step, and that will be the last item but the point to what we we're doing is really to come up with these financials and then we'll see that last step in the final video.